Guys, hello! I think the intro speaks for itself. Today I'll give you a little presentation on the Classic Predator by Hot Toys, which is in fact my Christmas present, but somehow it got delayed about two months. I pre-ordered it in Hong Kong um, with an eBay seller in August 2011, and yeah, it took a lot of time to get here. So all the other people already had their reviews and presentations up and I thought uh, why not give you a quick look around and some views on the figure from myself. So stay tuned. So starting out with the outer box, you see here is the slip cover, like with all the other Predator figures in the Predators line. On the back you've got a great nice graphic of the actual piece. And I think on the front of the inner box you get the, a movie image of the creature. Okay, just for the record here we've got the inner packaging with a nice picture of the predator on the left and then the actual shell with the figure in the middle. So we'll cut this uh, boy open and give you a more deep look of the figure. Yeah, and you know the deal, it smells like in a Chinese factory. And if I open this bad boy here, I will probably get a bit dizzy. But yeah, you know, um, all these Predator have extremely well painted um, bodies. And so this is the first layer with the figure. You see there are some masks, the holographic items and then you get a bigger second box with the display stand and the custom base. And here we go, this is the actual classic Predator, it's not a special edition so I got no VIP exclusive, no um, Super Predator skull but man this piece is just awesome. It's probably my favorite of the line, of the Predators line, and it's just amazing how much uh, stuff you get with this figure. I will shortly give you a quick uh, presentation of the stuff. So you get about four extra pairs, uh, four extra hands in all different sculpts. Then you get the holographic stuff for the forearm, the battle damaged mask, the closed uh, mandible pieces, some extra packs, and then of course the cool base I will show you shortly. Okay guys, here we've got the custom base in its uh, native cultural looking environment with the skull piece then we got this cool dinosaur head or skull and then this leather like thing so the paint application is extremely well extremely well done so how does 
didn't give us the normal well what can i say the defaults then you just get the custom base then then you can put on this little uh, plastic rod but all in all a very nice addition so hot toys definitely uh, went the the long way with this custom base i mean these details are just amazing with this little toes going uh, between the, the leather piece and the wooden stick so that's just awesome okay well, let's continue with the figure okay guys continue with the predator's head you see there is some great sculpting and of course an even more better paint application with all these small details on the teeth, on the mandibles, then the small veins on the inner side of the mouth. This is just top quality. Okay guys, here's a close-up of the speckled spots on the top of the head. And you see also this very glossy part of the top head. And then going down a bit you see there's some straight line where the paint goes from a yellowish to a whitish which is not so cool and I think it's not movie accurate but in the end if you really want to you can correct this yourself I think but all in all I'm quite happy with this And here we have the plasma cannon or plasma caster. I think it's not the original design from the first part of the movie, but it looks damn cool. It fits about right with, in terms of size to the head. Okay, going sidewards down. Here we've got the med pack. It's extremely well painted. A very weathered look. Absolutely not dull, it looks very dynamic, the paint application. Going down, you see the loincloth. It's a pretty authentic material. And some overplating. And on the feet you see also this speckled spots some highly detailed work they did there on, the f on this figure so here's uh, one of the favorite parts of mine on this figure this actual real metal blades which you can retract and this is really solid quality so going upwards you see there is uh, also a very nice paint application on the body. Spot on I have to say. And here, here we've got the Predator with the closed mandibles look. Which is probably the way I will have it displayed. It just looks extremely serious and menacing. So another shot of the body. The belt buckled. So here we got an action feature of the Predator. There's a micro LED in the left forearm and there you can put on the arm device where he usually bombs uh, planets away. It's uh, somehow like a suicide bomber, our classic predator here. And then you can add these little uh, holographic pieces and I think Hot Dog has pulled this off quite good. It's an extremely... Uh, it's extremely bright LED and as you see it's, it's shining uh, through these uh, blue plastic pieces. Quite good. 
Then of course you get the second arm device, so you can take this off. There it goes. And here's the second one, which is the default one. So you just can open this. There you have uh, the standard predator writings on it. Then of course we've got the bio mask, the normal one with an extremely light red LED. From another angle, you see there on the bio mask this uh, meshes, this mesh in the eye sockets. I think this was uh, the reason for some discussions on the Sideshow Freaks forum. I can't understand it, it's okay for me, so it, it fits well together with the figure. Then the piping, the netting. Here are some details on the thigh armor, where you see all these little scratches and the weathered look of the armor. Then of course the Predator comes with a second mask which is battle damaged and yeah, an awesome sculpting going on there I have to say. Extremely detailed, very weathered look with all the scratches. So this is a real option if you want to display it with this. You also get the scratches on the top of the, of the mask. Extremely detailed. So this classic pattern definitely makes up for his name. It's for me at least an instant classic. And definitely a keeper. So I will give you now some comparison shots to Berserker Predator, maybe also Falconer and Tracker Predator, so stay tuned. So and here we've got two Super Predators, Falconer on the left and Berserker on the right. And in the middle we've got uh, today's Classic Predator. The Berserker one is slightly taller, probably also the Falconer because he's a bit bent in the knees. So. It looks like the Super Predators are a bit taller than the Classic Predator, which is actually movie accurate. And if we compare the paint application, I think Hot Dogs did a great job on the Berserker one, especially this, uh, the using of the two colors, green and red, on the chest. But all in all, I have to say the Classic Predator has a more realistic look with the gloss paint application and all these little spots. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'm closing this little video presentation with this last image of these two awesome Predator buddies. So this last release in the Predators line, this classic Predator is a no-brainer. You have to have him. So just get him. It's around 200 to 220 US dollars at the moment and it will definitely raise in price in the future. So it's so much better in so many levels, on so many levels, uh, in terms of quality, in paint application, sculpting, accessories. It's definitely a new league of uh, Predator we got here. We got a little teaser with the Shadow Predator, but this is the real deal. So guys, thanks for watching, have a good night, I'm out of here, bye bye.